and welcome to Brightly Street. Today us elves have been really busy preparing for Christmas and this is one of my little elves. Hi. Now during Christmas you see tons of cute ideas about the elf on the shelf. But today I'm inviting you to take that elf off the shelf and help us here at Brightly Street light the world with Christmas service this year. Is that a good idea? No! But yes, this is a good idea! Charlie, can you say yes? <laughs> and so we're really excited to share some ideas with you. Now Charlie, he doesn't talk too much, but one of the words he loves is cookie. Can you tell him cookie? Cookie. Now you can make cookies with your little elves at home and take them to a neighbor and print out one of our cute tags that we have online for free. Is that a good idea, Charlie? Can you say yes? Yes. All right, Charlie, we'll see you later. Can you say bye-bye? Bye. -bye? bye. Thanks, Charlie. Okay, now I want to share with you the advent calendar I have made for you. And this is what it looks like. Now online on my website at brightlystreet.com, you can download all these printables for free. And so go there today and print out your tags and your cards. You can um, laminate them and then use these laundry wooden laundry pins to attach to each of the 24 pockets. Now as you can see, this calendar only holds 24 pockets. And so day number 25 will actually be sitting underneath the tree. First off, you just need to go purchase a shoe rack organizer, which you can get at Ross, Walmart, just about anywhere. Pick it up for pretty cheap. And then you're just going to load it with all your treats. Now some of them, there's a few that are like yummy candy that of course all the kids love but most of them are a little um, treat to use like crayons or markers um, there's play-doh everything in these pockets have a meaning and have a purpose and so every day you'll be able to tell them just a short little sentence or two about the purpose behind the little treat let me show you what that looks like so if we pick day number seven this says Jesus fed the hungry and so every day you're gonna read about something that Jesus did and then our job is to find out how we can follow Jesus in serving others the way he did. And so each card has a scripture, a Bible video, as well as a Christmas song that I found. The most unique thing about this advent calendar is this little QR code down here. Now, if you scan this with your phone, it will go directly to day number seven. It will have the full scripture on there the Bible video, as well as a Christmas song that you can listen to, sing with, whatever you'd like to do. And then the activity. And any printables that I have for that day will be available underneath the activity part, as well as the gift idea that's inside the pocket. And so all the information will be on there and all you have to do is scan this card. So if you're not sure what goes with what, just scan your card and it will have all the information right there for you. Now, if you don't have a scanning app on your phone, um, I really like Scan Life, and you can just download that for free and, and use it to scan your cards. Now, what about if you're leaving on a trip and you're not going to be here for Christmas? Well, this is a super easy thing to roll up and take with you. Or take the treats out and just take your cards, stack them up, and stick them in your bag. They're really versatile, and you can take them anywhere with you. Okay, let me show you what's inside some of these treats. So let's start with number one. It says, Jesus lifted others' burdens. Now, December 1st, there's gonna be a huge service day worldwide, and I invite you to join us to light the world this season. And so the first day is to focus on how Jesus lifted others' burdens. And then as a family, we decide what we could do to lift others' burdens, whether it's in our neighborhood, in our community, our church, our family, our friends, however that's gonna happen. And so on here again, it has a scripture that I picked that goes along with that theme, a song, and then the video, and then an activity for you to do. Now, because it says Jesus lifted others' burdens, as I was shopping to try to find unique ideas that would go with each theme, I found these little plastic airplanes. And these little plastic airplanes are pretty unique. I'm just going to rip this open and show you what they look like. They're just little plastic planes. And the idea is just like airplanes can lift their passengers to different destinations, if we put our lives in the Savior's hands, 
He can lift our burdens and help us to get to the place that he would want us to be. And so it's just a little mini lesson for the kids to learn about lifting our burdens off ourselves. But the most important way to lift our burdens off is serving others. And somehow we always feel lifted. So that is day number one. Now every day is going to be like that. You're going to have a little treat, a little idea, a little thought behind it. One of them has Plato in it on the day that it talks about Jesus was humble. The idea is to teach your children that as we're humble and let the Lord do things with our lives, he can mold us and change us into the person he would like us to be. And so the kids could talk about, you know, what are some of the weaknesses they have and how could they do that better? Maybe they play games too much and they should maybe serve more. Maybe you can have them make something out of Play-Doh that represents a game they play. And then maybe smash that game and talk about how they're going to serve more and do less of the gaming. That's just one idea. Let's try day eight. So day eight says Jesus taught us to pray. Um, there's a very simple activity for this day. And let's see. So inside, I made these little coupons. Now, and of course you can download these online. These coupons say, coupon good for one Rocky Road ice cream. And the idea is to teach your kids that without prayer, that's what happens to our life, is it becomes very rocky and we don't know which way to go. And so that in order us to have a smooth ride through life, or at least to be able to overcome those rocky times, is that we must always pray to our Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ. And so these are the little tags that you could put in here. Now you can either take them for ice cream, which would be really fun, my kids would love that, or you could go buy a gallon of ice cream at the store and bring it home. And so those, those are the treats for day eight. Um, so let me show you another one. So day 15 says Jesus worship through song. Now inside this little bag, we have little, a little plastic harmonica that the kids can play with. Now most of these items I got at the Dollar Tree, um, a few at Walmart and Target, and I have a whole shopping list to tell you exactly where to get, where to get everything, a picture with what it looks like, all on my website at brightlystreet.com. So no worries. If you miss something on this video, it's all on my blog. And so back to day 15. So there's a song, a video, and then on that day, we've actually invited all of our neighbors and friends to come over and go Christmas caroling in the neighborhood on that day. And so Stay tuned and follow us on all of our social sites because we are going to be posting um, videos and pictures of that particular day as well as through the whole month. And you guys can watch us and our family and see how we implement these ideas as well. And so I invited everybody over to Christmas Carol, but then after we Christmas Carol, we're going to gather at our home and have a hot chocolate. Of course, you can't have Christmas without hot chocolate. Even in sunny Arizona where we live, always drink hot chocolate. And now one of the things I created for you to help you host your own Christmas caroling event and then possibly a hot chocolate party afterwards is a few printables. So here's one that you can use as a sign, put it on your front door or buy your food ingredients. And then these are just little tags that you can cut out and attach to a mason jar that has all the little goodies and, and toppings for your hot chocolate. And that's just one idea that you can download on my website. And so how do I get that download? You're going to go ahead and scan day 15 and you will see that printable right there. Now, instead of going through all of these, I'm just going to highlight some of the extra printables that we have for you. Not every day has something. Some of these ideas are pretty easy that, you know, maybe pray for a certain person or, or do something like that. I wanted this very easy for a family to do and not to be a burden but help us to focus more on serving and so there's a lot of really simple things that you can do that really only take a few minutes and then um, some that might take a little bit more time. Um, I believe this is day two uh, that you can make a Christmas card and so I just drew this little activity for you. You guys can color this in, have your children color it in and write a note to give to somebody. Now this is a fun one for actually Christmas day or any time during Christmas. Um, the Christmas season is a little quiet book and so you could take this with you to church and have your kids Color them. There's coloring pages There's a little maze to get the wise men back to Jesus Christ to find Christ a little um, Crossword puzzle with Christmas ideas 
And so they're just a ton of fun little things that you can print out and give to your children to do. And a little word search as well, as you can focus on Christ. This could also be a good activity for Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Anytime you need something to occupy the kids so that they can focus more on Christmas, on um, the true meaning of Christmas, is a fantastic bonus. So I encourage you to print that one out. Another day we have the super fun storytelling, kind of like a flannel board without the flannel. And so you would cut along that line and have your kids color all of the nativity people and then color the bottom. And then have them teach somebody else the story of Jesus. So you guys can open Luke 2, read about how Christ was born, and then have them retell that to somebody else. This would be awesome to take into a nursing home and have your children tell the story of Jesus to those that are so lonely in there. And so this would be awesome to do that. But let me show you what my kids did. They colored the backgrounds, just have them tell the story of Joseph came to Bethlehem and, and have them act that out as they tell the story of Jesus and the shepherd. And so this is going to be a really fun activity. This would be great to do as a family night as well. So I think that's it. I have all the information, all the pictures, and how to put this together online. And so go to brightlystreet.com and pick up your advent calendar today. And please share pictures, video of you guys putting these together. I would love to see, and that helps me know that these things are working and that I could do more things like this in the future. And so I'd encourage you to hashtag light the world as you share it on social media, and then tag us at Brightly Street so that we can see those images as well. We hope that as December 1st comes around, that you'll get those elves off the shelf and get them serving one another. And maybe if you want to use the elf still, have them watch and see what kind of service your kids do that year and encourage more service-oriented activities during the Christmas season. Thanks for visiting Brightly Street. Have a very Merry Christmas.